in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can create a vector hexagonal halftone pattern uh, pretty quickly. Uh, there are several ways to go about this. I'm going to show you the less precise, slightly less mathematical way. Um, there are, if you want to look up the mathematics behind creating a more uh, accurate uh, pattern, uh, feel free. Otherwise, uh, for this one, we need to create our uh, hexagon. So, in the shape tool uh, flyout here, go ahead and grab the polygon shape tool and just uh, click and hold down control to drag out the generic shape here and we need one more side so up at the top here just click the arrow to get six sides uh, once you have that uh, switch to your pick tool and then right click and go ahead and convert to curves and I like to get rid of any uh, excess uh, nodes uh, so if you switch to your shape tool you can just go ahead and select the these nodes that are in the middles of each of these segments here and just go ahead and delete them because they're just not necessary and more nodes tend to bog down your computer depending on uh, how many objects you have so once you've done that, go ahead and fill it with black and just get rid of the, the stroke by right clicking on the X here. And the next thing we want to do is rotate uh, our hexagon 30 degrees. So it's so the widest points are going horizontal like this. And then for the purposes of creating this pattern uh, I'm going to uh, switch or enter 0.5 inches for my width of my hexagon here so once you've done that we need to duplicate our hexagon up and just I do that by left clicking, holding down shift, and then right clicking to get my duplicate. And if if they're not aligned, just go ahead and select both and hit C on your keyboard and that will align them uh, vertically. So just if you do that, hit C, hit C and they're aligned. Select the just the top hexagon here and for the width of this one. I'm going to switch to 0.1 inches. Uh, once you've done that, we need to grab our blend tool. If it isn't already selected, just hold down your left mouse button on this tool here and go ahead and select the blend tool. And we want to blend these two objects. And what we're looking for in terms of our spacing here is we need to add enough steps uh, so that the this the second hexagon step above our bottom one is just just barely there's a just a slight gap between these two bottom objects here. Uh, once you've done that, you can uh, switch to your pick tool. And what I, what you want to do is we need to break this apart uh, so it's no longer a blend object. So if you right-click on it, you can select break blend group apart or hit Control K on your keyboard. Once you've done that. You're just going to go ahead up at the top here and ungroup all and then make sure everything's selected and we are going to hit control G 
to group them all together as one one object of 30 individual or of however many objects you have. The next step is once you've done that, we need to get our first set of uh, uh, blend sh shapes to get our linear uh, gradient here. Uh, so the reason we did our first object at 0.5 inches is that's going to make it easier for creating copies. So with the because the anchor point is halfway through, that's 0.25 inches, we need to duplicate uh, this entire stack here. So over in the transform transformations panel under the move, you want to set our X uh, transformation to 0.75 inches. And we'll go ahead and create 15 copies and click apply. And so it will evenly space 15 copies uh, with the appropriate gap that we need to uh, create our hexagonal pattern. Uh, so once you've done that, go ahead and select all of them and hit Control G to group all of these into one one set here and we're just going to duplicate over and we're going to ungroup all of these and next thing we want to do is we want to marquee select this top row of the smallest uh, hexagons and we'll go ahead and delete those and then we want to select either of the the outermost columns here and we're going to delete those too. Once that's done go ahead and group what's left and then once you've done that select the original set here and we're going to use our align and distribute docker here and we're just going to align the two groups vertically and uh, center. So that'll uh, put our duplicate set into that gap that we created from our original copies. Um, but once you've done that, you should have a a well, a very, very nice hexagonal pattern, half tone pattern that is evenly spaced, and you can adjust the the sizes and uh, of each of the starting hexagons. It's just you'll need to you'll want to make sure you give the width of the two uh, hexagons that will be evenly divided by two just to make your life easier um, and the uh, yeah so when, yeah once you that's basically the, the easy way of creating a hexagonal half-tone vector pattern.